Hi, I'm Samuel Stowe. I'm a developer programs engineer with Google AppMob. And I'm here today to talk to you about common debugging strategies for AppMob on Android. If you're having issues related to ads creating unwanted behavior in your app, for example, crashes, rendering issues, mediation issues, or there are certain ads that you want to block due to their content, there are tools available to help. So let's look at what we'll cover today. So firstly, we're going to look at how to identify specific ads that are appearing in your app, how to produce commonly requested resources for our support team, how to capture certain network traffic, uh, either using the AdMob SDK network tracing feature or Charles proxy, reviewing logs and what to look for in them, and some ad blocking controls that are available to you as well. So identifying specific ads. Ads are identified using what we call a click string, and these can be obtained using two methods, either a ad debug menu or the offline method. And I'll demonstrate these later. Uh, so the ads debug menu, you open using a two finger long press on the ad, uh, and the ad information option has an option to share, uh, which you will be able to send to us. There is also the offline method where you load the ad, you turn on airplane mode, and then you click the ad, and then you can copy the click string and note that for use in the ads review center or by the support team. So let's have a look at how to activate those two methods. So here I am in a sample app and you can see I have an ad loaded at the bottom. So I've got the simulator open here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm pressing shift and command. Obviously on a device, it's much easier to do a two finger press and I'll press for two seconds or three seconds. And then you can see the debug menu appears. I'm going to select add information. That's the only relevant one for AdMob. And you can see the add information um, pop up. And so then all I want to do is press share down here. And that will enable me to share via my chosen method, email, clip, clipboard, for example. So that's the debug menu. The other option is to use the offline method. What we'll do is activate the airplane mode on the phone with the ad already loaded, of course. And then I'm going to click on the ad, and then that will open a browser, try and load the ad, but it won't load, obviously. And then I can click up here and I can go to the information, get the URL. And when I click to expand, I can hold and copy the URL, and then I can paste that into a note or uh, email, etc. Next, we're going to look at some commonly requested resources from our support team. And um, the first one being logs. So there are several common types of logs. Number one is logcat or device logs, which you can capture using ADB or Android Studio. When capturing these logs, it's very useful if in your app, you can log the ads SDK version using mobile ads.get version string. That way we know what version of ads is running when your issue is reproducing. Secondly, uh, crash logs. So you can get ANR and crash logs from the Google Play Console, and those are always a good starting point. For more in-depth logs, we recommend Firebase crash reporting. It's a very simple integration. You may already be using Firebase, so I would look for that as a secondary option for more in-depth crash log reporting. Bug reports are quite comprehensive. You have to generate them on your device and you use the settings system developer options, obviously when the bug has recently reproduced. And finally, network logs. Uh, we'll cover these later, but we can get these via the AdMob SDK network tracing feature and also from using the child's proxy program. So commonly as well, the support team will also request sample apps from you. These are a minimal app that reproduce the issue that you're seeing. So they would need to invoke the code path that reproduces the issue. And they're also much more useful if we can also capture the child's logs uh, when the issue reproduces that you could then share with the app. And that will give us a pretty robust way of reproducing your issue and hopefully resolving it for you. So let's look at network tracing. So this is an AdMob SDK feature, and we do have a comprehensive guide on how to enable it and how to use it, uh, which I recommend you look at, and that will be linked below the video. This logs network traffic from AdMob SDK to LogCat, and it enables visibility of requests, responses, and headers. So you basically just go into Google settings uh, in the system menu and select ads. And then there's a terminal command that you can run, which will show you the logs in terminal, as well as save them in a logs te text file, for example, to share with the team. The second way you can capture network traffic is using Charles proxy. Uh, this provides comprehensive network activity logging and has powerful features such as rewrites as well and uh, mapping to local responses, etc. 
It does require some setup, which is somewhat involved, especially on Android N or later. Uh, we do have a comprehensive guide on our website and I'll link again uh, in the video uh, description. So please uh, use that guide to set it up. And then when reproducing the issue, record the logs and then save them and share them with the team. So what to look for when reviewing your logs. So in the crash logs, you're looking for the presence of com.google.android.gms.ads, anything, uh, traces, and that will indicate that the ads SDK is somehow involved, um, potentially uh, causing your crash. And in network logs, uh, all calls go through the domain googleads.g.doubleclick.net. So filter for that if you're looking for ads traffic. Ad requests in particular go through that domain with the path mads forward slash gma. And it's very useful to review ad requests and the responses, especially, for example, if you're using mediation, as they will contain the mediation chain of the different adapters that will be called. And so, for example, these mediation ad responses will often be followed by calls to third-party SDKs and networks, uh, which you might be interested in seeing which calls are occurring and, and whether they're passing or, or not going through. We also, in the network logs, can find things like ad impressions, ad views, and ad clicks. And these are also very useful if you're having issues with any of those areas. Okay, so let's look at uh, ad blocking controls that are available to you as well. So AdMob does have some very versatile and functional ad blocking controls, and these are available at app level and account level. And they enable you to block ads using a variety of categories and methods, such as the general categories, sensitive ad categories, app promotion ads, ad URLs, networks, and also ad review center. So Ad Review Center is very useful for a more granular review of individual ads that are showing in your app. And you can enable it using blocking controls in the side menu of your AdMob UI and then clicking Ad Review Center. And if it's not enabled already, just click Enable. So Ad Review Center enables you to identify ads using a variety of methods, one of which is the click string, which we talked about earlier. So you could copy that click string and, and search for it in Ad Review Center. You can also do image search as well. There are a few limitations to Ad Review Center that you need to be aware of. If the ads aren't appearing, then you may need to take note of some of these limitations. Also, uh, image search is not available for non for video ads, so it's only for non-video ads at the moment. So let's look at what we've covered today. So we've talked about how to identify certain ads appearing in your app using the click string, some commonly requested resources from our support team and how to produce them for us. These include the device logs, crash logs, network logs, and a sample app. How to capture network traffic using two methods, uh, AdMob network tracing, and also using the Charles proxy program. What to look for when reviewing those logs, and some ad blocking controls available, including Ad Review Center. Okay, that's everything. So thanks very much for coming along and, and having a look today. Uh, we want to bring you more content. So if this information was useful, please subscribe or let us know what else you'd like to learn in the comments. Thanks.